So hello everyone, welcome back to this next episode of Image Festival. I'm Dr. Neha Taneja and we will be having a look at another image for the day. But before that, a quick reminder, Unacademy has launched a learning festival to make your NEET, PG and FMG preparation easy. We at Unacademy are giving you a one month NEET, PG plus subscription at only rupees 299. So it has never happened before. So before the prices hike, take use of this opportunity. Take the plus subscription. The offer is valid till 16th of May, guys. You just have to download the app and you can use my code PSM10 or you can use my code PSM Life or you can also use my code Dr. Neha10 and get a 10% off uh, and, and actually get an Unacademy subscription at rupees 299. What is there in the Plus platform? It gives you an access to live and recorded classes with your wonderful educators, a queue bank of 25,000 questions for your practice, live tests and quizzes. You can also get the PYQs of last four year batch of last four years from NEET PG, FMG, and NICT examination. So it's a wonderful opportunity to get ahead in your preparation and academy subscription only at rupees 299. So what is the image for the day? What is this? This image is known as a forest plot. You can call it as a forest plot. You can also call it as a blobogram. Now the first question, where is this forest plot drawn? For which type of study? So this forest plot plot is only constructed, this type of forest plot is only constructed in a meta-analysis, okay? This forest plot is only constructed in a meta-analysis. You don't construct it in a systematic review. That's how a systematic review is different from a meta-analysis. Meta-analysis means analysis of analysis, okay? And a forest plot is constructed only in a meta-analysis. So now look, what do we do in a forest plot? Okay, suppose we wanted to study risk factors and breast cancer association. So we have reviewed five studies. In the first study, you get an odds ratio like this. Suppose we were studying risk factor 1 over here. Yaha pe hum log pad rahe the risk factor 2. Here we were studying risk factor 3, here we were studying risk factor 4 and here we were studying risk factor 5. So now look at the first and the second and the third study. Okay? So when we look at the first study guys, all you have to look at the odds ratio. Now when you the odds ratio, dekhte ho, okay? so I'll just write it here. Sorry, I'll just write it here. You have to look at confidence interval. Okay, does it include one or does it not include one? Okay, include one or does not include one? So if it includes one, it is not significant everyone. But if it does not include one, it is significant. Okay, if the odds ratio is then more than one, it is a risk factor. All right. And if the odds ratio is less than 1, it is a protective factor or an inverse association. Now, if you look at the first study, Smith et al., where you are studying the first risk factor, Smith deko, odds ratio kitna hai? 0.5 say 2.6. Now, if you look at the interval, 0.5 say 2.6. Does it include 1? If you this 0.5 say 2.6 does it include 1 yes 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 1 so 1 agya. so this one is not significant okay if you look at this one it includes one the second one 1 to 3.4 so this is also not significant similarly the third one this is also not significant but if you look at the fourth one 1.9 to 2.7. 1 is not included. 1 comes before 1.9. So 1 is not included. So this is statistically significant guys. Now once this is statistically significant, odds ratio is more than 1. So this becomes a risk factor. If you look at the last one, 1.8 say 2.5. 1 is not included. So this is significant. Yes. And this value is more than 1. So this is again a risk factor. If I had given you something like 0 0.2, 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1 say 0 0.9, 
Now here also one is not included. So this is statistically significant, but here the odds ratio is less than one. So it is a protective factor. Now always look at the diamond. The diamond provides you with the overall effect size or it provides you with the pooled estimate. Now if you look over here, range they go 1.9 say 2.4 one is not included so it is statistically significant and overall the effect of risk factors on cancer so shows a significant association so what are the points you'll remember first of all this is a forest plot it is only drawn for a meta-analysis it shows the overall effect size or the pooled estimate okay so it is used for analysis of analysis then when you study the individual study designs, if one included, nahi hai, it is not significant. Okay. I mean, if one is, in, is not included, it is significant. But if one is included, it is not significant. Then you look at whether the value is more than one or less than one. If it's more than one, it's a risk factor. If it's less than one, it's a protective factor. So please do remember an Academy subscription only at rupees 299. Use code PSM10 to avail this wonderful offer. Thank you so much. Keep studying, keep revising.